This is a first round matchup for the ages. This is what SBF basketball is all about. The Chupacabras will take on the Ballers tonight in a 1 versus 16 seed game. That's right, you heard it. The Chupacabras somehow are the 16 seed. If there's ever been a 16 seed built for an upset, it's the Chupacabras. This team is stacked top to bottom with talent. They just haven't been able to figure out the chemistry issues this season. If they can put it together come playoff time, this team could become unstoppable. As you see LaMarcus Weaver with the first bucket of the game. Here comes Francois Prigioni of the Chupacabras. Gets it over to Cassius Falls. Pick and roll with Champ Hansen. Cassius gets the easy layup. Like I said a moment ago, the Chupacabras have so much talent, but they just can't seem to figure it out. I'm not even sure where I would start with this team. Maybe by removing Darnell Turner, weak on defense, inconsistent on offense. I feel like he waits too long to heat up offensively. By the time he decides he's ready to start scoring, the game's over. Just not a great superstar to build your team around. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying the SBF playoffs. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying this Sunday marathon of games as Cleveland gets called for the illegal screen. That's not a good start. You don't want the ballers to start out hot and get multiple bucket possession lead early in this game. Here comes Weaver. He's scored both baskets so far for Motown. He's going to take the boulder screen. Mid-range pop. That's no good. Rebound Cleveland. Cleveland up to Falls. Here comes Cassius. Cassius Falls. Driving. Turn. Good. Good move. Get, goes up strong. Richmond with the block, though. Cassius... Had Richmond beat on one of his moves, but just took too long to score as Weaver in transition gets another easy layup to go over Darnell Turner. That's that Darnell Turner weak defense that I was talking about. Great pass from Cassius to Jadavius. Oh, that was Champ Hansen. Both former Polar Bears. And then the Ballers respond. I almost wonder if the Chupacabras would be better off at Falls, with Falls at the one position, and then move on from Francois Prigioni and move on from Darnell Turner. Cassius Falls really proved his worth this season, defensively, offensively, playmaking, rebounding. Cassius Falls is one of those point guards that can do everything. Here comes Jordan Harrison. Kicks it back to Boulder and gives it to Richmond. Weaver for three. That's good. LaMarcus Weaver starting this game out hot. Prigioni over at Cleveland. Cleveland looking around. Gets it back to Prigioni. Prigioni now. Eight seconds. They need a bucket here. They can't start out with a large deficit. Turner, mid-range pop. That one's no good. It rims out. Chupacabras need to rely on good defense here. Weaver, very fortunate miss for the Chupacabras. Can they respond? They find Champ Hansen. Champ in the post against Ed Payne. Finds Cleveland. Cleveland matched up against the point guard. Cleveland, good, strong move to the rim. That's why Jatavius Cleveland is one of my favorite big men in this league. If given the opportunity against a smaller man, I feel like he never squanders the moment. He always uses that big body and powers his way through. As Jordan Harrison shows you the speed that he has to blow by everybody with that easy left-handed layup. Prigioni over Cleveland. Backdoor cuts a falls with the slam. Great feed there. Champ Hansen's another P 
piece of this puzzle that I think he's not the problem. I just don't know if he necessarily fits. I think Champ is a great piece to the right puzzle. I just don't know if this is the right place for Champ Hansen. Turner, mid-range. Rims out. As a superstar for a team, you've got to make those open shots and defend better. Misses the open mid-range and then allows the easy dunk on the other end. It is superstar v superstar in Turner versus Weaver. And Weaver so far is definitely getting the upper hand. Here come the Chupacabras. Double screen set. Drive. Kick out. Cooley doesn't take the open three. Drops it down Cleveland in the post. Kicks it back for Gioni. Trying to get somebody open, but they can't. Cooley fires for three. That's good. Hunter Cooley with a good shot. Here comes Ben Henry for the ballers. Over to Clyde Warren. Back to Henry. Back to Clyde. Over to Jack George. Boulder now. Kicks it over Morris. Great passing here by the ballers. Henry goes up with it. No good. And the rebound by Cleveland. A good ball movement by the ballers. Prigioni open three. That's no good. Those are the type of shots that Prigioni can't make that costs his teams in big moments. It could be a one-point ball game right now if Prigioni can hit an open three. Here we go. Ben Henry looks completely different in this baller's uni. Mid-range jumper is good. Here come the Chupacabras again. Finn Woods had an open three ruined by the Cleveland illegal screen. Very, very unforked, dude. That line, courtesy of at your boy Country Woods. Go big mode. Cooley with the rebound. Up to Champ Hansen. Champ driving. Wants a shot here. Very smart not to go up on Boulder. Boulder would have had an easy block. Double screen being set. Layup. No good as Boulder reads it. Tracks it down and swats it out of bounds. Vin Woods, three, that's good! Great shot by Vin Woods. Those are the type of big shots you need to hit if you want to beat the number one seed ballers. Jack George back to Clyde Warren. Clyde drops it down, Boulder. Can't get that easy one to go, gets the rebound and the putback. As Prigioni honestly looked lost down there, just swatting the air rather than trying to body him up. Double screen set. Prigioni takes it. Driving. Open layup. He slams it home. Good decision made there by Francois Prigioni. Here comes George. Switch now. Champ Hansen's on George. Alley oop down to Boulder. Chupacabras, if they hold on to the ball correctly, should have the last shot of the quarter. Let's see if they can make it count. Woods, mid range. No good. The end of the first quarter. We have a five point ball game. Chupacabras are down by a score of 16 to 21. LaMarcus Weaver leading the way in this one so far for the Ballers. Absolutely stellar first quarter performance. 
Weaver, Boulder, Ed Payne trying to bring home the trophy for Motown. I mean, I guess I'll try not to forget the MVP candidate, Dion Richmond, who's also had a fantastic season. Ben Woods driving, but gets a stripped. What a great spin move and left-handed layup there by Jack George. Jack George is a prime example for some people in the league. Honestly, I am a big fan of the Chupacabras, but I feel like I could use them as an example. The Chupacabras, overall-wise, have the best team in the league. They have the highest overall team in the entire league. They're the number 16 seed. Then you see players like Clyde Warren right there, Jack George the play before. Those guys are mid-80 overalls making moves like that. 2K is a really good example and that this is showing you that the high overall of players, that it doesn't always matter. It's that tendency that really gets a player. The tendencies, the badges, you got to really make sure that you have a full team of people that have tendencies that complement each other. You got a bunch of players on your team with tendencies for being an inside scorer, then you're going to struggle with the rim being, the paint being clogged. You got a bunch of tendencies for ball hogs, you're going to struggle because everyone's going to want the ball all the time. Balls mid range. No good. Vin Woods gets the rebound and the putback is good. That's why I say if the Chupacabras can figure out their woes, this team could be unstoppable because they have the highest overall team in the league. Ben Henry, three. No good. Rebound. Chupacabras will retain possession. Yeah, and Richmond went up for that rebound and swatted it out of bounds instead. Cash falls. First free throw is good. Second free throw is up, and that's good as well. Seven point lead now for the Motown Ballers. Chupacabras have got to figure it out defensively. That's a good start. What a great play by Champ Hansen. Got Turner wide open in the corner. See if this goes. No, what a miss. Hansen, though, with the board and then blocked by Ed Payne. Darnell Turner is a superstar. Those shots have got to go in. That is inexcusable. Sometimes it just doesn't matter what your overall is. Sometimes you just suck. Darnell Turner. My goodness, is he the most disappointing superstar in the league. With how Darnell looks on paper... This Chupacabras team should be really good. Unfortunately, nobody can predict somebody playing that poorly, missing shots like that. Here comes Jimmy Blake, drives, draws another foul, this time on Morris Senior. Gonna go back to the line. Duke City coming back now, scoring all their points at the free throw line. Sometimes that's the way to do it. three-point lead for Motown as Champ Hansen has been a defensive juggernaut the last two possessions good D there by Turner put back by Morris seniors no good Chupacabra is playing very clean defense right now Champ Hansen for three another wide open miss nine missed points so far in this game by the Chupacabras for wide open misses. Here come Harrison, over to Ed Payne. Payne driving, picks it up. Cleveland forced him to pick it up. 
Harrison's going to have to force this. Another good defensive possession by the Chupacabras. Let's see if they can convert on this one. Turner down low, Hanson. Hanson left hand. Another bad decision, another bad shot. The game was in reaching distance for the Chupacabras, and they just missed it. Open threes have got to start going down, especially by the stars of your team. Darnell Turner, mid-range. That's good. And that is one of Darnell Turner's strengths in this league is the mid-range game. Unfortunately, it's tough if you don't have good play design to get a wide-open look in mid-range. A lot of times, the paint area uh, inside the arc is clogged by other players. Turner has it behind the three-point line, runs out of bounds, another stupid play by Darnell Turner. I don't know what else to say. Darnell Turner has been frustrating me his entire career. Started with Smashville, where he would just have bursts of highlight plays and then absolutely cost his team big wins. Putting up those good numbers while also still underperforming and costing his team. Those type of players really frustrate me. Cobras get caught sleeping on Boulder on that play. Cleveland sets the screen. Kick out Turner. Three. Another miss. Good look. Not wide open, but it was open enough. Weaver going up against Shatavius Cleveland here. This is a good matchup for Weaver. Three. That's up and no good. Rebound. Chupacabras. Here comes Jimmy Blake. Jimmy Blake over Champ. Another three. Another miss. Weaver running three. That's no good. Both teams exchanging misses here. Screen set Champ Hansen. Pick and roll now. Looking for another Champ screen. Drives to the basket. Picks up the foul on Weaver. Is going to go to the line and shoot two. Jimmy Blake. Five points, five free throws tonight. Make that six of each. Doing a great job getting to the line and getting easy points. Here comes Jack George. Pass it down to Boulder who gets the easy layup. Francois Frigioni back in the game. Immediately allows a bucket. Frigioni over to Woods. Woods pick and roll with Cleveland. Finds Frigioni. Back to Hunter Cooley. Passing it around the arc now. Good ball movement by the Chupacabras. Jimmy Blake with the shot. No good. Ed Payne with the board. Here comes Jack George. Passes over Ward to Harrison. Good find, but even better defense there by the Chups. Over to Ed Payne. Ed Payne picked up by Ben Woods. Layup is good. Seven point lead now for Motown. Let's see if the Chupacabras can find their shot. Ben Woods, open three. That one's good. Now, if only the Chupacabras can score and have it not be off of an answer. There's the layup by Jordan Harrison. Baller shooting 50% tonight. That is the difference in this game. Hunter Cooley gets himself into a good position. 
again the chupacabras answer well like I said a moment ago they need to score without it being an answer Jack George with the fake over Clyde Clyde for three no good here's their opportunity hits it up Jimmy Blake drives to the rim good layup by Jimmy Blake he's having a strong game tonight two-point lead now from Motown Jordan Harrison spin move Jordan Harrison so fast on the court an absolute blur when he wants to be let's see what the ballers do this will be the last possession George wide open three that's good looks like Motown is gonna go into the half with a five-point lead over Char Duke City this is still anyone's ball game. Duke City shooting very poorly in the first half. Still only down by five. Their defense is really stepping up. The ballers offensively continue to struggle as you saw their last live game against the Talents. They struggle as well. 39% field goal percentage for the Chupacabras. They're going to need to figure that out. Now after the break, Duke City has an opportunity to win this game still. They got to take it one possession at a time. Falls, alley-oop, Cleveland intercepted by Payne. Here comes Richmond on the fast break. Great D though by Cassius. Champ Hansen has a matchup advantage on Jordan Harrison. Pick and roll now. Turner goes up with it, can't finish, and doesn't get the rebound. Boulder pulls it down. Turner, another good look, another miss. And then Dion Richmond scores through the contact. Will have the opportunity to complete this and one play at the line. And that one's good. Three-point play is good. Eight-point lead now for Motown. So many offensive weapons for the Chupacabras, yet can't play offense. It doesn't make sense to me. That's why I get so frustrated with Darnell Turner. First free throw is good. He sinks both of them from the line. Six point lead now from Motown. Here comes Weaver. Weaver is somebody who's really stepped up as a superstar in my eyes this season. The clear-cut number one guy in terms of scoring for the ballers. I think Richmond is probably the best player on this team. But the team rallies behind a scorer a little bit differently than they do a defensive monster. Cassius falls. Almost loses it, gets it back. Champ Hansen setting a screen, pick and roll now. Cash's kick out. Champ, wide open three. Another open miss. Jordan Harrison setting it up for the ballers. A lot of chupacabras are about to be out of a job if they continue to shoot like this. Unexcusable. They should be winning by a lot right now if they can make these threes. Cleveland, good strong move over Richmond, and he finishes. Here comes Harrison. Motown also needs to figure out their offensive struggles. If I'm Motown, I'm looking at Zach Boulder, and I'm wondering why am I not utilizing this guy better? He is a good shooter, a good scorer, and he's not doing much offensively as Weaver gets an easy three. That's what a superstar does. Gets an open look and knocks it down, especially in big moments. Balls, 
good crossover. Layup can't get it to go, but will go to the line and shoot two. First free throws good for Cassius Falls. Second one's up, and that one's good as well. Defensively, Francois Prigioni has been terrible tonight as Weaver is going to get the easy and one off of another bad defensive play by Darnell Turner. Every time the Chupacabras have an opportunity, it seems like Prigioni or Turner are involved with the reason why that opportunity gets squandered away. So far, this matchup has been very, very good. Both teams playing excellent defense at times. Prigioni from the arc. Pass down to Cleveland. Goes up strong with it and draws another foul. That's Boulder's second. Cleveland sinks the first. And he gets them both. comes Richmond. Over to Morris Sr. Back to Ben Henry. Double team comes, kicks it out. Morris Sr. for three. No good. Prigioni pulls it down. Here comes Darnell Turner. Turner back over to Falls. Chupacabra's trying to make something happen. Turner, wide open three. Another miss. One for seven tonight by Darnell Turner. And that is an ugly one for seven because the six misses have all been wide open for the most part. Goes Prigioni. Layup is no good. Boulder with the easy block as Prigioni, for some reason, went up with the inside hand rather than the outside hand. Falls lays it up, and that's no good. Another easy miss by the Chupacabras. Moore Senior goes up. Vin Woods, good defensive play there to stop that. Darnell Turner, what can I say? Let's see if he can make some magic happen and recover for his team. As Prigioni gets it stripped. You're a point guard. You just got stripped by Dion Richmond, the small forward. And then Turner, again, lack of hustle, allows Weaver to get the easy transition bucket. Frustrating day for the Chupacabras to see some of these mistakes. Here comes Turner, mid-range, no good. Cleveland put back, no good. The second putback is blocked. Chupacabra is performing really well on defense tonight. The problem is their offense is so bad that the ballers are getting a lot of possessions. Here comes Turner. Kicks it out for Gioni. Pick and roll Cleveland. Another... Absolutely shitty offensive possession there by the Chupacabras. Richmond over to Weaver. Weaver looking around. Kicks back. Ben Henry wide open three. That's good. Good teams take advantage of good opportunities. That's what the ballers are doing tonight. Some may say they're not going to earn, they don't deserve this win because the Chupacabras are shooting themselves in the foot. Well, I personally am, a, and a, I am personally an advocate for it doesn't matter how you get the win as long as you get the win. Obviously, there's always room for improvement. There's always things that you can critique. But a good team just figures out a way to win. 
night in and night out. It might not always be the prettiest win, but you don't have to win by 50 each night. If you, you can win by one point each night, as long as you bring home that chip and a one point win, no one's gonna care. George, three, no good. Chupacabras, not a lot of time to waste. They have got to start heating up if they're gonna overcome this deficit. Jimmy Blake stepping back to the three-point line. Gets picked over to Vin Woods. Three. That's good. That's a good start. Vin Woods cuts the lead down to seven. George and Warren, that backcourt duo back in. Henry at the three, Richmond at the four. George, great defensive play by Jimmy Blake to stop that. Jimmy Blake been very impressive tonight. Cleveland, pick and roll. Blake, wide open layup. Jimmy Blake. We've seen it before. We've seen it in multiple different pro leagues. Sometimes the higher overall players shouldn't be the starter. Maybe Jimmy Blake should be the starter for this team going into the next game as Vin Woods hits that. The Chupacabras are storming back. Just when I wanted to count them out, they cut it down to a three-point ball game. And as they start to excite me, they put Prigioni back in. That could be the game. Boulder has it from three. He's a three-shooter, actually. Just chooses not to do it. Goes up and then lays it in over Cleveland. comes Cassius Falls. This is the problem with having Jimmy Blake heat up, but having him on the bench is his lack of minutes. The coach is going to pull him back out. Unfortunately, these coaches aren't as smart as we are in real life where we would have kept him in despite the lack of minutes. Falls, easily blocked by Payne. They're going to go into the fourth quarter separated by four points. That's it. The last of the game ones coming at you. We're hitting the fourth quarter now. Four point difference on the scoreboard. This is anybody's ball game. Back and forth the entire night. Every time I'm ready to count out the Chupacabras, they storm back. A 10 plus run. Let's see if they have one more in them. Can they take the first lead of the night? It's going to start on the defensive side of the ball, that's for sure. Prigioni, Turner, you guys have got to be relied upon. The rest of the game doesn't matter. It's this moment that matters. Three seconds. Drops it down, Harrison. Prigioni, terrible defense again. They had two seconds left, and Prigioni got caught sleeping. Hanson, pick and roll. Falls, lays it up. Airballed the layup. Richmond kicks it out. Warren, mid-range. That's good. Cassius Falls, a really good player. Unfortunately, has no range. And he's trying to attack the rim tonight. But the ballers are perfectly designed to stop that with Ed Payne and the boulder always at the rim. Unfortunately, Cassius Falls is not designed to compete against a team like the Ballers. Their build perfectly counters what Cassius Falls does. That's why we need a Francois and a Darnell to step up. Those guys are three shooters. Turner for three. Another open miss. If this game doesn't get Darnell Turner benched, him and Francois, I don't know what will. But, at that same token, I don't know if the Chupacabras have many other options. As Prigioni allows another basket. For 
Gioni now over to Turner. Champ Hansen sets the screen. Turner able to get the layup to go. Here come the ballers. Six minutes to go in the game. Prigioni is so bad on defense. This is my suggestion going into the next game. Watching this one. Cassius falls at the one. Turner at the two. Blake at the three. Champ four. Cleveland five. Prigioni can come in off the bench. Hopefully he'll perform better against Clyde Warren and the other bench squad. Offensive three seconds. That's a good break for the Chupacabras. Balls being the one position might help defensively. Double screen set. Falls. Pick and roll. Wide open layup. Right now you see the ballers doing a lot of pick and rolls. And every time that happens, Francois switches. And that's putting the big man on him. And then the Francois just cannot compete. Here comes Prigioni. Can they make something happen here? And he runs out of bounds. Francois Prigioni. Absolute trash. As Richmond gets an easy layup. All right, let's see what Frigioni can do this time. Setting up his team. Screen set. Not much help, though, as Turner's covered. Turner tries to lay it up over the defender. Terrible decision. And then Richmond, another easy slam. As the Chupacabras, every time they fight back, they just absolutely disappear. Double screen set. Turner, open three. Another miss. It's just cringy to watch these Chupacabras play right now. comes Weaver. Layup blocked by Champ. Cash is up to Turner. Three, another wide open one. Miss. Man, Darnell Turner. Does he realize that this is a contract year for everybody? Darnell Turner is playing like he does not care about the game of basketball. One takeaway I can say uh, from this game, I don't know if it's possible to miss this many wide open threes in the next game. If that's the case, I think the Chupacabra should have a pretty good chance. As they are down by just eight points here. Darnell about one for 10 at this point with nine missed open shots. Boulder, good rebound. Goes up again. Cleveland with the block. Champ Hansen running three. No good. Jordan Harrison now using his speed. Driving, attacking. Good defense there by Cassius Falls. Three minutes to go. Champ with a slam. No time to waste if you're the Chupacabras. It's now. It is now or never. And Darnell Turner. Bad defensive play. Gonna give up the two free throws. Weaver, unstoppable force tonight. Getting whatever he wants on we on Turner.
another good find inside to Champ Hansen. Champ Hansen doing well in this fourth quarter so far with backdoor cuts. Chupacabra guards doing a good job finding it too. Give the credit to both sides. Now defensively, Turner and Prigioni have got to step up. And that's not how you do it with your Darnell Turner. Slow to recover after being screened. Allows Weaver to get the open three. Timeout, Chupacabras. If I'm the Chupacabras, I throw the game plan out the window. Jimmy Blake, Vin Woods, they have to be in this ball game right now. They are the only two able to do anything. But unfortunately, that's not the game plan. That's not what they're going to do. Turner drives. Layup is good. Three for 15 tonight for Darnell Turner. And it's not just the poor shooting performance, it's the defensive efforts by him and Prigioni there. Prigioni just getting burnt time after time. Turner blocks. Here comes Richmond. Richmond takes the screen from Weaver. Lays it up, and that's good over Turner. Here comes Turner again. Moving screen by Tramp Hansen. This Chupacabra's team just does not know how to not shoot themselves in the foot. Boulder up top, crossover, stumbles, picks it up, hits Harrison, kicks it back out. They're taking a lot of time off the clock, very smart. Two seconds left. Richmond has to shoot it. No good. Cleveland with the board. Chupacabra still putting in some effort, but this game is all but over. Frigioni doing Frigioni things again. Harrison floats it. No good. Guys, thanks for checking out this game. Hopefully you enjoyed the first set of games in the round one. Remember, these are all best of three series. So, any team takes a 2-0 lead, and the series is over. Next week's games are going to be very important. They're all do-or-die games. Will there be any upsets? The Guardians already upset the Stingrays once. Could they do it again and close out the series? Thanks for checking me out, guys. Remember... Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate the support. Also, please remember, continue to recruit. Continue to bring more people in. We need your help to grow the league. I'll catch you guys in the next video.